as you see, got two treadmills going on right now. Sweating a lot. The cardio session has been good. And this A-set that I'm doing. Oh my gosh. I can't even think straight right now. What's good, YouTube? It's JP Fitness 2.0, and I'm back with another video. So I don't want this to be a vlog type deal, but it's kind of gonna be POV, like real up close and personal because I am gonna be filming from my phone. But I want it to be a quick video. I just got off work. It's kind of late night. At work, I decided I was gonna go to the gym tonight and get a full core and cardio session in. Very high intensity. I wanna shoot for very high intensity tonight. I decided I should film it. I'm gonna try to film this from my phone, get the best footage that I can try to make a good video out of it. Make things as interesting as I can to keep you guys engaged and drop a lot of jimes to take you through, you know, what a hit cardio session is for me. Plus core training. So back to training core, still working on the six pack, eight pack abs for the summer as it is slowly approaching. So um, yeah guys, just tune in and I'm in a whip already. So about to get ready to slide out to the gym. Let's go. I run my phones over. On the race, better catch it. Keep with the pace, cause shit get it hectic. Now look what my check did. It doubled my problems that I gotta flex. Now I got a reason. Like throwing me jazz, but I'm steady cheese. Last sip of the Oxy Shred pre-workout, thermogenic fat burner. Also, I did do a giveaway on this, so if you haven't checked that giveaway video out, I'll put a card right there, go ahead and click it, check out who won the Oxy Shred. Um, this is a pre-workout, it's a fat burner. They recommend that you take it 10 minutes before your cardio session or any training session at all. So, finishing it up right now, and then I'll wait 10 minutes. I won't wait 10 minutes, I'll go through a full body warm up, and I'll take you guys through that as well. So hang around for that, and then we'll get into the cardio session. Going into a time lapse recording this, I had no clue that it was gonna turn out extremely fast. I guess the more you record on time lapse, the faster it gets. But I tried to slow it down as much as possible, and this is what I came up with. Just finished up the warm up. It is a pretty, pretty intense warm up if done correctly. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes, which is just perfect for the pre workout. Take that exercise, take that warm up, you know, use it for yourself. You can use it for anything, whether you're playing sports or, you know, you're in the gym. If you need to burn some, some stubborn fat, maybe, it just takes 10 minutes. You can do everything in one spot. No equipment required. No equipment required at all. So take that little warm up right there and, and use it. Use it to the best of your abilities and use it to your advantage. And now we get into HIT, if you want to call it. HIT cardio session. Um, and then we'll work on some abs. So let's go. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's good? As you see, got two treadmills going on right now. Sweating a lot, so the cardio session has been good. And I'm halfway through, more than halfway through. Um, basically, this A sets that I'm doing, I'm on set number six going into it. I'm gonna run you guys through that. Um, Oh my God, I can't even think straight right now. Whew. Let me get this together. So, two treadmills. One treadmill is for sprints. The other treadmill is for a jog. On the sprint treadmill, I do 30 second sprints. Jogging treadmill, we got one minute jogs. Back to back, bam, bam. Almost no rest in between. If so, about 10 seconds. And there's eight sets, like I said. So I'm on set number five, going into set number six. And I plan on running you guys through at least two of these. 
how you would do this is how I'm doing it right now is going on a sprinting treadmill for 30 seconds. I put my phone up there, run the timer for 30 seconds, hop straight off, come right over here to the jogging treadmill, run the timer on for one minute, but just do it that way. The biggest thing I would say is be careful. Hopping on, on and off of these is, is really dangerous, actually. It's very dangerous. Um, so just be careful. Make sure you don't get caught up in one of these. As you get a little fatigued, maybe get a little lazy, maybe get careless with your feet or whatever. Just be very careful on this because it is kind of dangerous. It's also very good work. Hit cardio, high intensity, interval training. This is kind of a weird spot. I'm literally against the wall. It's just a big wall, back against the wall, as always. I'm gonna try to get a good angle, good view um, of how I do it, and that's about it. Eight sets, I'm on set number six. So I have two more, including this one. I may go three, honestly, because I feel like I haven't done enough. So let's get right into it. I do want to apologize, it's very loud. These treadmills are super loud and you're gonna be right up on them. But like I said, I was using the timer for my phone. I obviously won't have my phone anymore. So I have timers on the treadmill. I'll go by those. 30 seconds for the sprint, one minute for the jog. This will be the view. So let's get right into it. Six sets down, two more to go. I wanna tell you guys my speeds on here. For the sprinting treadmill, see if I can get up here carefully. Speed is fairly high, 11.6. That's the speed for that one. And over here on the jogging treadmill, we have a speed of 7.1. Both fairly good speeds for me. Obviously on a treadmill, this won't be a full out, like a 40 yard dash speed. It's a, it's a no speed to where it makes a difference when you go into the jog. And 7.1 on the jogging is actually where I get my mile and a half, two miles in um, on a daily basis. So good speeds for me. You know, adjust the speed accordingly to what you think is good for you. I work up a good, a good sprint, you know, something that's gonna make you work hard and then go right into the jog. My phone just gave me the low battery percent. I don't know if it was still filming. Hmm. But without further ado, like I said, little to no rest in between the set. So I'm gonna knock out two more sets. And then I'll chop it up with you guys right when I get done.
All right, eight sets down, just finished. The high intensity interval training cardio session. It was crazy, as expected. I came in here, ready to work, and that's what it's all about. That was my mindset when I came in here. I knew I wanted to work hard. But when you had that mindset, when you had that mentality going in, things seem to be a lot easier and enjoyable than they really are. But enough of that. I'm gonna sit right here and kind of explain what I did, small details and stuff like that. So uh, two treadmills, one sprinting treadmill, one jogging treadmill. For for the sprinting treadmill, excuse me if I'm slow, my my brain is like, I don't know, I'm gassed. Uh, sprinting treadmill, and I have to hurry up because my phone is on like 8%. Uh, and I still wanna do core. Okay, sprinting treadmill, high speed. I had mine on about 11, uh, but just adjust accordingly. High speed, 30 second sprint. Get you a speed where you know you have to work hard, you have to move fast, um, you can't be lazy. Get it to where like if you slow down a little bit, then the treadmill will basically kick you off. And they're still going right now. I don't know if you guys can hear me. <laughs> but high speed on the sprint treadmill, sprint for 30 seconds. And then you transfer right, right after you get done with that, you transfer to the jogging treadmill. Speed is reduced a tremendous amount. Almost, it's gonna feel super slow, but in actual reality, it won't be as slow as it seems. Just a nice speed where you can get a little jog in, catch your breath, and it'll be a one minute jog. So 30 second sprint, one minute jog. The sets, eight sets, no little to no rest in between. If you take a rest, then 15 seconds, maybe. You really want it to be back to back so you can get that high intensity in. High intensity is little to no rest. Okay, so eight sets, little to no rest in between. Um, a tip for that is if you have a lot of sets or something, let's take this for example. Eight sets, break it into fours. You go so far as to break it into two. Eight sets, you break it into fours. Okay, then you take that four set and you knock out two. You're like, bam. Okay, I got two of them. Now you got two more. You do the same thing with the other four. Knock out two, okay, you got two more. It's like sets of two. And before you know it, it'll be eight sets out the window and it'll be super fast. The biggest thing I would say is just keep your rest time down. Stay active as much as possible. High intensity, just bam, right at it. And, and it's gonna, the, the amount of calories and body fat burnt in this is almost absurd, honestly. It's crazy. It's, you know, what high intensity, training the sport. I'll take this and I'll break it down more, try to get it a lot more understanding. Long. I still have to train the core as well. I want to give you guys some of that as well. That's it for the high intensity cardio training. Get it to some core. Right now, my phone is about to die. Maybe I can run you guys through the first set of everything. Let's see. Barely gonna make the cuts with this one. I'm on 1%. This is the last exercise. Before my phone dies, I'm gonna try to go for an outro right here. Might die. <sighs> Mid outro. JP finished 2.0. That was a hit. Hit cardio session. Now I'm trying to core. 
I'm going to D. Fuck, I can't even talk, man. Jeez. I'm like Joe Biden. I can't talk. I'll get home, try to do some editing, make this video as cool as I can, as interesting as I can, to keep you guys engaged, drop some time, go into detail on some things, try to give you guys a lot of valuable information. <laughs>